हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर टीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश कर्ण अमित कुमार एंड एज एन यूजल आई हैव ब्रॉड द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच वर आस्ड ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ श्रावण ट्वेंटी एटी वन एंड हेयर वी आर विद द सोल्यूशन बेसिकली दिस एग्जामिनेशन वॉज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई कॉस्मोस कॉलेज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी शो वी शैल गो विद द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ओके सो सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन See the phonetic transcription of the word collector, collector. So basically, here you don't have to think much about this one. The right answer is D. Okay, the right answer is D itself. Okay, we shall go with the D option. For this one, basically, see these kind of questions you you will have to follow Oxford Dictionary. There you will find it. The solution of this one. If you are in the habit of turning the pages of oxford dictionary you will be able to solve these sort of questions and the motive behind this sort of question is to improve your pronunciation okay so basically this is the answer now we shall go with the second question the word coalition has its primary stress on first we need to figure out the topic from where first we need to figure out the chapter from where this has been asked okay the chapter is sound and stress as you know sound and stress this one is the here we find this question coalition coalition first we need to see the number of syllables that it has it is written in the format of call lation coalition coalition this is coalition and this is the how it is pronounced there are three syllables first second and three that's why it becomes trisyllabic word it is a trisyllabic word and its uh, primary stress is on second syllable second this second syllable gets stress upon okay l and the, on the basis of the second remember the same pattern we have certain other words like duration duration okay similarly creation creation similarly we have carnation carnation okay they all have they all are trisyllabic words okay and uh, they all get stress on their they they all have their primary stress on second syllable second syllable okay second syllable you will find okay so now we shall go in the comment you will have to comment below the meaning of carnation since you have already i think you have studied in carnation now you need to know carnation give the meaning you need to write the meaning below the video okay now we shall go with another question i often dreamed here you don't have to think much basically the question this question is from fixed preposition we prefer to say fixed preposition means and in your book it has been given words words followed by preposition okay words followed by preposition in this there you will find this one here you have to just this sort of question you have to mug up these are not based on any particular pattern rule or regulation these for these sort of question you will have to mug up mug up means as much as you can mug up mug up means to cram okay cram to memorize means to memorize memorize parrot also there's a meaning is parrot see here dream of it takes dream of if you want to become a doctor if you want to be a doctor so you are dreaming of becoming a doc doctor this of okay now we shall go with another question here also again this is also the question from the same chapter words followed by the preposition here you need to understand i'm just writing now we shall see see here engage this verb engage take this verb takes to in on with all these prepositions after it so basically the meaning varies from one to another here we see engaged to means to fall in a relationship to fall in a relationship means to you are making a relationship that's why here comes rita is engaged to rajesh okay 
Similarly, we prefer to say that uh, for in, in, engage in, engage in means you are engaged in an activity. It means that you are busy in that one, that activity. That's why I have written swastik was engaged in chatting or solving the problems. Swastik was engaged in solving the problems of mathematics. Okay. Now on. It talks about a particular date. Means Satyam's band is Satyam's band is engaged on New Year's Eve or 18th of February. Basically, this is a particular date, any date, any random date, 18th of February, 14th of February, or New Year's Eve. Eve means evening. So, so basically, here we prefer to say on that date. So when we have to show date on comes here. Now, with with the meaning of with, engage with. Here you need to understand to involve with somebody. To, to engage with somebody means you are busy with that person, with that person or the group of that people. Like Krishna is involved with audience. He is involved with audience or her students. Means she is busy with her audience or she is busy with her students. Okay, this is how we understand here. The different meanings of engage to in on and with okay so first you will have to read the question then accordingly you will feel the preparation after it okay that's why they will be married next year they will be married next year to fall in a relationship now we shall go with the next question a good deal of efforts this question see this is the easiest question i think in the given examination, EGS, a blindfolded can also solve this question. Why? Because see, is, was, has, three are singular bobs. These are singular bobs, except of it. That's why R comes here. Okay, one can easily solve this one. However, the source of the question is brush up your English grammar book. Okay, but I do not advise you to follow that one. Basically, this question has become archaic. This concept has become the concept, the number of concepts given in that book have become archaic. A R C H A I C. Archaic means no more in fashion, obsolete. O B S O L E T E. O B S O L E T E. Obsolete means no more in fashion, no more in trend is called archaic or obsolete. So basically, nowadays in advanced grammar, if you follow Norman Levy's grammar book, Geoffrey Lee's grammar book, there you will find a good deal of, they have defined that, a good deal of, even in Cambridge Dictionary, you will find this concept, a good deal of, similarly, a great deal of, a great deal of, both are used before uncountable noun, uncountable noun, uncountable noun, or the nouns can, that cannot be defined. Okay, uncountable noun or noun that cannot be defined in defining nouns. Okay, and they take the verb after them. If verb has to come, that verb will be similar verb. So modern pattern is this one, and you will be obviously asked the questions in IU entrance examination based on this pattern, not this one. Okay. So you need to like a great deal of happiness, a great deal of happiness. Okay, happiness that is uncountable noun. A great deal of success. A great deal of success okay now we shall go with another question he wig stain wig here it is verb means to to get measured okay wig and the noun of this one is weight weight okay t suffix comes after it t as a suffix comes after this verb this is verb ten what's the meaning of this one here you need to understand here ten basically the answer is stone no doubt the answer is stone but how fps system foot pound and second fps system there is a stone a stone means a stone weight a stone weight is equal to 14 pounds 14 pounds so 10 stone 10 stone equal to 140 pounds that's weight so it is 10 stone never take 10 stones 
okay it is 10 stone 14 stone this is how it is said now we shall go with another question he disliked see here he disliked here you have to see you can just say this question is from verb or also you can say this question is from gerund okay basically this one is gerund that's why you prefer to say this question is from gerund so wherever this question is from you if you understand the concept you can solve the question does not matter what sort of question you are asked and these sort of questions has been asked plenty of times in successively all saturday's examination you have been asked this sort of question i shall discuss how see here first you need to say dislike like dislike or like these are transitive verbs transit or transitive verb is verb that takes an object after it and an object is always noun or noun equivalent always remember do remember that an object is always a noun or a noun equivalent term okay so noun equivalent means like pronoun that behaves like a noun that acts like a noun gerund that acts like a noun okay so these are noun equivalent terms here you need to see it takes an object after it just like i like a pen i dislike pen okay i like a pen suppose i dislike old movies i dislike old movies okay simple i have written simply i have written i dislike old movies okay here you need to see here dislike is a transitive verb that has taken an object after it that is movies this is noun and this one is adjective here you need to understand before a noun always comes an adjective okay before a noun if a word has to come that word becomes what an adjective because an adjective qualifies noun okay similarly this is a transitive verb dislike it takes an object after it and that object is coming coming this this coming is noun this coming is noun that is called gerund okay gerund as you have been taught what gerund is the v4 your yeah, present participle working as a noun is called gerund the first that is a noun then after whatever the name it has been given like gerund okay so, so the point being this is noun this is object and obviously it will take what it will take what an adjective before it an adjective comes before it so here an adjective is this one the rest all are pronoun this one comes before this one my okay like this one is this is in the same pattern of this one this is adjective this is adjective this is noun this is noun okay you need to know what possessive adjective possessive adjectives like my possessive adjective of i is my we our similarly he his okay and they their if they see her you your and similarly possessive pronoun there is only a type of pronoun that is possessive pronouns possessive adjectives possessive pronouns i mine mine ours his takes his theirs theirs hers and yours yours see possessive adjectives always take a noun after it always take it. they take noun after it compulsorily they take noun after it noun 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 and it stands for noun and in case of pronoun they never take they never take noun after it if we write noun that becomes wrong okay that's why we prefer to say this is this is her pain this is her pain because her is possessive adjective and pain is noun now we prefer to say this is her pain if i say this is her pain this becomes wrong this is wrong you have to write this is hers this is hers or this pain is hers because hers is pronoun and pronoun it does not take an a noun after it but this is adjective it takes a noun after it similarly on the same pattern her this one is adjective and it takes a noun after it in previous examination before this one uh, there was a question on saturday's on 29th of 
सर देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन आई लाइक स्वस्थित आई लाइक विपासाज विपासा इफ यू रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चन विपासाज ईटिंग ईटिंग आइसक्रीम आइसक्रीम आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिलिमिटेड दैट वन एज वेल आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन्ड वाई वी है ईटिंग कम्स हियर बिकॉज वी पास दिस वन इज एन एडजेटिव दिस इज पॉजिटिव एडजेटिव इफ इट इज रिप्लेस्ड देन इट विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाई हर इट विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाई हर सो एन एडजेटिव इज रिप्लेस्ड बाई एडजेटिव नाउन इज प्रोनाउन इज रिप्लेस्ड बाई द सेम प्रोनाउन ओके सो बेसिकली हर वे पास इज रिप्लेस्ड बाई हर सो दिस वन इज इफ दिस वन इज पॉजिटिव एडजेटिव सो दिस वन इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव एडजेटिव एंड दिस एडजेटिव टेक्स नाउन आफ्टर इट एंड दिस नाउन इज ईटिंग दिस इज जी डंड ओके क्लियर सर नाउ वी सेल गो विद अनदर क्वेश्चन ओके बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम टेंस एंड ऑल्सो दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट क्वेश्चन सिंपलेस्ट जो वी हैव स्टडीड वट वी हैव स्टडीड दैट फर्स्ट पर्सन इन फर्स्ट पर्सन आई आई वी दे टेक सेल इन जनरल सिचुएशन जनरल सिचुएशन इन जनरल सिचुएशन ओके सेल एंड सेकेंड पर्सन सेकेंड एंड थर्ड पर्सन थर्ड पर्सन दे टेक लाइक यू एंड ही सी इट ही सी इट दे दे टेक विल इन जनरल सिचुएशन जनरल सिचुएशन but the when we talking about in certain case when we have to say certainty there it will take will will in certainty when it so certainty c e r t a i n t y certainty okay similarly they will take shall when the case is certainty certainty i have to write here general general situation जनरल सिचुएशन मीन्स नॉर्मल जनरल सिचुएशन लाइक सेल आई टर्न द लाइट ऑन शेल आई टर्न द लाइट ऑन हेयर कम्स सेल ओके यू आर जस्ट आस्किंग सेल आई टर्न द लाइट ऑन इन कॉमन लैंग्वेज वी प्रिफर टू यूज इट इज अ कॉमन लैंग्वेज जनरल लैंग्वेज कॉमन लैंग्वेज बट वेन इट इज बिकम सर्टन लाइक आई हैव टू गो टू पोखरा टू मोरो इट इज सर्टन आई विल गो टू पोखरा इंस्टीड ऑफ सेंग आई सेल गो टू पोखरा आई सेल से आई विल गो टू पोखरा tomorrow okay so so this is the certainty or general situation now we shall go with another question okay so the question is from narration this is from narration uh, direct indirect okay speech direct indirect speech or narration here you need to see this is in uh, this is reporting verb this is reporting verb reporting verb and reporting verb is in past tense that is v2 v2 is past tense simple past form okay so the tense of the entire reported speech will change since the reporting verb is in past tense had it been in present tense or in future tense the tense of the reported speech do not change if it is in present and future they do not change okay now we see but here it changes now you see what you have to see that let it rain ever so hard what is the meaning of this one let it rain ever so hard means does not matter how heavily it is raining or it rains that will not stop me from doing whatever i want to do means raining heavily will not stop me from achieving my target or doing my job okay rain have you to rain heavily means what cats and dogs we also prefer to say cats and dogs and kittens and puppies you need to understand there are two terms kittens and puppies see if we say it is raining it is raining it is raining cats and dogs cats and dogs means it is raining heavily 
and similarly if it is raining if it is raining kittens and puppies it means it is a drizzling it is a drizzling drizzling simsime pani and here it is heavy rain okay these are the idioms you need to know these are the idioms okay now we come to the point here let it rain ever so hard so basically in a spite of heavy rain i will do my job means i will go here what ram wants to say so so here we see ram said that even if it rained hard even if it rained hard rain becomes rained okay because according to reporting verb since it is in past tense it also the tense of this rain also changes into past tense present tense becomes past tense rained b1 becomes b2 even if it rained hard he would first person change it according to subject ram is third person similar number so it comes i uh, and he, it is male that's why here comes he he w there are all these sort of things we have to see first uh, first person second person third person also their similar number plural number as well as gender we need to figure out when we have to change the subject here so so basically here becomes he he and will change will becomes would and go that becomes today becomes what that day today becomes that day okay so so this one is right obviously this one is right the rest all are wrong okay when you read them you will not find the literal meaning what it really wants to say through this statement that's why this one is right okay you can go through the rest other one as well okay now we shall go with another question this question is listen to me okay the passive form we have to find out passive form okay so basically before solving this one i am i just want to say to you when we make the passive voice of imperative sentence so we shall see imperative sentence here first we need to understand this concept first then after we shall solve this one imperative sentence we generally study that imperative sentence begin with v1 or late when we solve the passive voice we have to study in this way v1 or late we shall not discuss about late here since where uh, the question is related to v1 so i shall discuss the questions related to v1 first in another video we shall discuss related to late now here we see v1 v1 we shall just uh, where we say we have to uh, divide the questions into two categories uh, one having object after it and another having no object after it okay no object after it means having object means transitive in nature like uh, like open the door it has taken an object similarly love your nation this is also an object this is verb v1 and this is object nation and here the door is object so now we have to differentiate here whether the sentence is whether the statement is giving a uh, an a piece of advice or an order that we have to differentiate okay if if the sentence if the statement gives the sense of a piece of advice our pattern is like this one love your nation here this one is v1 and this one is object so the object here in this case what happens that object becomes subject plus should plus should plus b plus b3 should plus b plus b3 okay this is the pattern object becomes subject that's why we have taken it as a you love love your nation it is a, it is an advice given to someone okay it is it is not an obligation it is not an obligation one can only give me as a piece of advice to follow this one help the poor one can just give me as a piece of advice i am no more under an obligation to follow that one okay somebody just can ask me request me what okay donate the blood donate the blood so it is a piece of advice it's not an order okay this is how you need to understand here now in these cases what we see object this object becomes subject so your nation should be loved love your nation it becomes your nation should be loved similarly help the poor it becomes the poor should be helped okay now here we see order 
or command order or command in this case when the statement gives a sense of an order like open the door open the door okay get out the these are order in this sense what we see that object is here we did the pattern for us like late plus late plus object late plus object plus b plus v3 b plus v3 this is the pattern here we follow this is late l l the so it becomes the door let the door be opened let the door be opened similarly do it the let it be done let it be done do it you have to do it the do it do it becomes let it be done it's these are orders now we see having no object we shall discuss about this one later first we see here listen to me in some cases you may have confusion whether this is an a piece of advice or an order how to distinguish in that scenario you should go with this one if you are not able to figure out whether this is a piece of advice or a or an order you should go with this one okay so we just make it on the basis of this one it goes with i should be listened to object become subject i should be listened to so this one is right and if you just say that no sir it's an order it's an order listen to me it's an order okay that okay in that situation we just solve it like let me be listened l i s t e n e d listened to let me be listened to but do you find it here anywhere else no if you say this is right no this is t o o but here it should be t o only on the basis of this one this has become wrong okay this is wrong two is not here and this is obviously wrong two is not here as well they both are missing two and it is not two it is two there are t t o o this is t o o but there should be t o that's why it has become wrong this is also wrong this one is also wrong okay so you need to see the solution uh, options microscopically most of the students have committed mistakes here they have committed mistake here okay so they have not seen it well they have just gone with this uh, so, uh, this option that's wrong you need to see it properly now we see here having no object here we see just uh, it is though it is not related to here but i just want to make you understand having no object take it here having no object i we shall just uh, take here two sort of examples first do do it's an order it's an order do gora the it is just may it is made you are ordered to do it does not have any object the you are ordered to do and if do it do it then we make do it then we make let it be done let it be done because there is object it the let it be done and now if another here i have just written this form this this one i have written here okay please and if please or kindly please or kindly has come before before it like please do or kindly do so we write you are requested to do there it was you are ordered to do here now it becomes you are requested to do and also in the case do it although there is an object after it you need to see it here properly although there is an object do it do it like they are do it but before do it comes what please or kindly then we do not go with this pattern we go with this one you are requested to do it you are requested to do it so keep in your mind about do do it please do it okay now we shall go with another question okay this is from phrase okay feel cheated feel cheated feel cheated you don't have to think much here you don't have to ponder over just if you mug up if you have mugged up you can solve this one feel cheated means if you feel cheated that's the meaning of this one if you feel cheated you find yourself being treated unfairly that is feel cheated and the past form of feel is felt the past form of feel is felt 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 so this one is the right option he felt cheated okay now we shall go with the another question 
ओके देर इज नो टीचर बट लव्स हिज स्टूडेंट्स इट्स यूनिक क्वेश्चन नो डाउट इन द एंटायर पोर्सन दिस वन इज द यूनिक Why I pray, why I am telling it unique? Because this question is basically the source of this question is the book of Fred and Martin. Okay, so this you will find it there. Here you have to understand. But this is one can say that in a first glance, one can say that this is an independent clause. This is but follows a coordinating clause, coordinating clause. So it also becomes. an independent clause independent independent clause is also called what main clause or principal clause similarly this one also he finds independent or main clause having two or more than two only independent clauses is called compound sentence so so most of the students have gone with compounds most of not all the students have gone with a compound sentence but here you have to see here the meaning of but is not but it is a in defining it is a defining case in defining defining case here it becomes it is the meaning of but is who okay here the meaning of but is who clears so it becomes there is no teacher who loves his students okay so it's not a coordinating clause it is an adjective clause it is an adjective adjective clause the that, that's why it becomes subordinating in nature subordinating subordinating in nature okay subordinating in nature that's why it is called subordinate clause this is subordinate clause subordinate subordinate clause and this subordinate clause is also called what dependent clause you know it well dependent clause and subordinate clause both are same thing similarly independent clause main clause or principal clause or same thing okay what what you prefer to say dependent clause okay so so having only one independent clause having only one independent clause and at least one subordinate clause is called complex sentence is called complex sentence okay i shall give you some other examples as well if you are not able to understand it from then i shall give you some other examples but they are very important and in your coming examinations you will definitely be asked those questions that's why i'm just going to deal with those questions as well here we see here see comma here comma has come comma has come comma here it is not common given so you need to understand these questions here you see what it is not qualifying swastik the here who does not qualify swastik this clause if we take the entire clause this does not qualify swastik so this is not an adjective clause so this is not a subordinating clause or subordinate clause this is not a subordinate clause so don't get confusion okay this is not you prefer to say that this is an independent clause this becomes subordinate clause that's why it becomes a complex sentence this is not like that here the meaning of who is and he and he i met swastik and he gave your message okay and this is how it becomes relative your co coordinating clause this is how it becomes who becomes coordinating clause and this one is a complex compound sentence this symbol, uh, this is how it becomes a compound sentence because it is an independent clause and this also becomes an independent clause and a sentence having only independent clauses at least two is called what compound sentence okay now we see here also here is comma here comma comma changes the meaning entire meaning here which which this is not it does not define this one message does not does not define this one here the meaning which is and it and it okay and it so it becomes he gave me a message and it is it yeah this is it this this is it okay so also now it is also becomes since it is added with and the meaning becomes coordinate it becomes coordinating clause means it is also an independent clause this one is also an independent clause that's why that's why it becomes what a com compound sentence now in this case here we see comma is not given here this clause defines the boy clearly it defines the boy who the boy okay 
it defines the boy that's why it becomes an adjective clause adjective clause and that's why it is a subordinate clause that's why it is a subordinating in nature and thus it becomes a subordinate clause and and a sentence having an independent clause and at least one at least one only one independent clause and at least one subordinate clause is called what complex sentence complex sentence okay so you must have understood this one now the last i shall deal with two questions on the basis of the same pattern somebody has put questions on my page fb page i'm just going to deal with the, those two questions as well basically they are related to this one that's why just i'm going to discuss with this is in examination you will definitely be asked this question mr hari i'm just writing this question from my page mr hari who drives a lamborghini is my best friend and another question is there the person who drives a lamborghini is my friend see these two questions we have to deal with here comma is given okay hurry mr hurry comma after comma it it gives the meaning it is a, it just gives and he drives and he that's why it becomes what simply as how i have already explained the reason behind this one why it becomes and hurry and he okay so it becomes what compound sentence this one is compound sentence and in this case who drives this clause qualifies the person qualifies the person that's why it, this clause is an adjective clause adjective clause in this one it was a coordinating clause because here the meaning of who is and where there is comma 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 is here okay and here where there is not comma here it is an adjective clause it it define it qualifies clearly to whom the person that's why it becomes subordinate clause subordinate clause this is subordinate clause and this one is the person is my friend the person is my friend both becomes together becomes independent clause independent clause so having independent clause and subordinate at least one subordinate clause only one independent clause and at least one at least one subordinate clause is called complex sentence so this one is complex sentence this one is compound sentence so this what we have today up to so we shall discuss with the other questions uh which will be asked on uh, coming sunday saturday so till then Bye and thank you